Hello, welcome everyone. I'm Alberto from Silverwind Sail. <clears throat> Today we are going to race uh, with the Virtual Regatta Inshore on the NACRA 17. We are going uh, to have uh, three races as uh, we have already done 12 and the maximum is 19. We are on the 91st position. I want to see if uh, we can reach top 50. We need 58 points, so three races. That would be tough but we are going to do our best to do that. <clears throat> uh, if you ever seen uh, the video of the Virtual Regatta Inshore, I always speak about the real sailing and the real sailing uh, uh, events uh, around the, the world, uh, most specifically in Italy and the people that I know and people are racing in a Virtual Regatta Inshore. For example, um, I, we have uh, Enjoy, from Virtual Regatta Insure that is go is attending at this right moment that is doing the um, Majest 24 European Sailing Series in Porto Roads in Slovenia is uh, already uh, have done first day of race as uh, today is a uh, Saturday and they have a long weekend from so from uh, Saturday so from Friday to Sunday and uh, <coughs> the races are really really tough they've already done three races and i definitely recommend you to have a look on the website of the managers european sailing series you can go to managers24.com slash european sailing series to watch it and it will be really really amazing but stop th speaking about other boats we have to concentrate on our race we're going to analyze our start. Uh, the v wind is pretty neutral at the beginning, and 30 seconds to the start, 35 seconds to the start. The line is really, really giving advan advantage to the people starting nearby race committee. So that one will be the best one. Uh, let's see if we can have a good start. Maybe start in the, um, away from the group see if we can catch the position nearby the race committee 10 seconds to the start people are not pulling the ship yet so they're really really slow three seconds for us two one the americans start really really slow and the french i well, tried to avoid the collision with him but was uh, uh, we didn't do it enough in time in time enough there is a small right, so maybe it's worth it to go on the left side of the racing area and see how what's happening right now over here. We are we have to pass just behind the, the German one, cross also behind the French, but it's going to tack, so we're going to tack two <coughs> and uh, uh, keep the right of the racing area. Let me check if everything is alright. Yeah, you can see it perfectly. <clears throat> I don't want to mess up. I already mess up one video like that. Uh, you can see all my face for half an hour. That's pretty boring. So <clears throat> we have a right wind shift. We are going to lose a little bit between these two guys. But we are definitely got to gain uh, compared to the rest of the fleet. I'm waiting that the right is being... Uh, uh, total so it stopped to be the right one and probably it will be at this moment we are tacking on the ley line if the wind is keeping like this we are really really close to make the mark it doesn't seem the though the the situation is going back to the left so maybe we tackle a little bit just a little bit too early but the wind is so shifty that there is also the possibility that we can do the mark. But the French one, when it tacks in front of us like this, we are is actually killing us. No, I tack in time. Oh, come on. We take the penalty, but uh, we definitely avoid the collision. Three seconds and we are on uh, position number six at the moment. It's time to ice the Jenneker because it's already over 100 we're going to fly downwind and uh, we are jabbing when they're jabbing 
So maybe we can catch one position now on the on Karma. As you can see, we're going like four knots faster. And we catch one position, and now it's time for Boca. The wind is really, really coming from the right. So definitely this mark, even if uh, the mark on the right is definitely have an advantage. Let's see when we are going close to the mark, if it will be the case. Drop the spinnaker and start to go upwind. See how good we have done our rounding of the mark. We gain also a position uh, regarding Boca. And we are there with, uh, with Boca. So we are fighting for the fourth position with uh, the top, th the first one that fly away, but second and third, we are definitely, definitely able to catch them if we are just a little bit lucky. Oh, really bad move for Casio that give the penalty to Boca and that definitely help us to gain the fourth position. And now you see the wind is rotating to the left, so definitely give us an advantage and definitely want to give a penalty to Casio that it does not consider that he was on port board. Get the penalty and then it's time for us to fly. At the moment, the wind is not even left, it's just neutral. So probably with a, a bigger left wind shift, we're going to gain a little bit. Hopefully we come. Uh, this doesn't seem the case. As you can see, the r wind shift turn on the right a lot, lot, lot more. Penalty for Albatross, that definitely went too long. We are still here, fourth position. Probably we are going to gain one position uh, with Albatross. Not sure though. I'm going to tuck. <clears throat> it's only 10 meters, 15 meters in front of us. We have to laugh up a little bit to avoid the mark. We we'll slow down just a little bit, but enough to slow us down. And now it's time to fly. You know, I'm going in this area, there is a little bit more wind, and then I'm going to jibe. 26, 27 knots. Tuck. Time to jibe and time to fly. Let's see how much we can gain compared to them. Not much at the moment. Albatross is in the third position. I think we are going better this way. I think we are going just a little bit to gain. Because definitely this one is closer than that one. So I'm not saying we'll be a head on head, but definitely will be maybe one or two seconds difference between us and them. One second. One second, uh, definitely a good result. Uh, compare on all the penalty we, we, we have. Next race. We have three races today. And so I spoke about the uh, Melges 24. Now it's time for Princess Sofia. We have, uh, um, as Italian team, we have uh, two teams in Nacro 17 uh, Tita Banti and uh, Bissaro with uh, her new bowman, with his new bowman. Say hello to everyone before I forgot. And uh, so, because we have uh, two Italian team on the Nacra on the Meta race, will be super nice. Oh, nice to see S S K U D eighteen. The Portuguese we race against a lot of time. Uh, Sakura the Japanese and uh, Steve New Zealand uh, always the best here. Another hard time to go to the podium for us. <sighs> Let's see what we can know from the racing area. The uh, starting line is a little bit on the right, but the wind is a little bit on the left. So probably a start. If you're going to have a really, really fast start on the pin, uh, maybe we can have a good start and tuck as soon as we can, but probably it will be hard to see. Okay, let's go. It's time to go. 10 seconds to the start, we're already full foil, we just pass in front the Italian one. Three, two, one, and go. Good, really, really good start for us. Let's see if we can tuck. The problem is uh, this team doesn't allow us, but now we can go. 
and is uh, we can cross in front all of the fleet. As you can see, we are in the first in the head of the group finally. But I don't know. I do not understand why. But all the team on the right are gaining on us. We are not that slow. What is going to happen here? Okay, and we have the people on the right that are crossing in front of us because uh, it's coming a right wind shift. Let's try to hit the left uh, of the racing. You know, maybe we can try another another thing that is uh, stay in the middle. So just to sail in the middle, just to follow the wind shift. Do not go too far on one side or the other and see what's going to happen. That was a, a really really nice uh, passage from Sakura that passed between me and him. Let's see what Steve New Zealand can do. Uh, it's time to tack also for us uh, avoiding the dirty air from Steve New Zealand. Uh, we have to bear away behind the uh, Swiss and then we can laugh up. <clears throat> we have the control of that uh, position. But that would be really hard to find a space between the fleet coming up wind at the moment. Tacking and see if we have enough room on Cobra. Yeah, we are going also dirty air a little bit. Time to rise the spinnaker and fly away. Go, 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 go. And jive. <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, run in this area with 28, 29 knots. And we have to stay here. We have to find uh, the, the, the border of this area is like here and we're going to jive. We are already going to go to that mark, so. We can hold the third position. Dropping the Jenneker, we are going 28, 24 knots. And we are already upwind. Going starboard, I want the left now. I want to split with the other two teams and see what's going to happen. Not too much, just a little bit. Confluencia Helvetica. And Sakura is going to be with us. So I wanted to stay with the group on the left. Probably the two, Steve and SK, uh, Scud18, uh, are really, really far away because they have a right wind shift and they went to the right. I really hoped for another left wind shift, but we were not so lucky. But at the moment, I think we're going a bit faster than them. Let's see if we have another wind shift uh, and if we can gain a little bit on them. Want to see when Sakura is tacking? Yeah, we cannot go and uh, tack on the Sakura dirty air. But definitely the team on the right are gaining against us. And now it's time for us to go full foil. It's hard, really hard to maneuver the boat. But at the moment we are in fourth position, just behind Sakura. Tacking, really bad tack, really really bad tack. And the Swiss give us a penalty because of the bad tack. <coughs> and now we have to fight to keep the fifth position. But we are going really good with 25 knots. The wind is a little bit crazy in San Francisco. We have a really hard time to find the best way to manage it. But we will see. 26.3 going up. Nice dropping, it's time to jibe. Enter back on in the strong wind zone well done uh, to top teams 
and we finish in the fifth position last race for us <clears throat> and then uh, we have to wait um, for the um, 49er that will be uh, on um, Monday another so, uh, as, as you can see, my schedule says that I'm doing every day uh, a video uh, in Italian and uh, twice uh, a week in English. And uh, only Monday to Saturday and Sunday I'm taking uh, possibly a day off, but uh, not always, as um, I really prefer to keep all the video up but I need a day of rest a week and normally I will try to keep it on Sunday okay so one minute to the race see who are the competitors Papillon is not that bad as before probably we have a couple of team that are really strong but nothing I think I say really really major it's not like with a Steven, uh, with a Scud, a Scud uh, 18, uh, and stuff like that. See if we can be a little bit luckier than before, and see if we can fight for our position in the starting line. It's time to to compress. No, 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 no. I was overlapped. I was overlapped. Okay, ready to go. Hopefully, the boat accelerates fast enough to let me start good. And then, bam! So, seem we are still uh, in the lead at the moment, or if not in the lead, really, really close to. And uh, the wind is coming from the right, so it's no point for us to tuck. And definitely all the boats went to the right, they're gaining on us. I really do not understand what's going to happen at the moment. But we will see really, really soon enough. From the lead we are um, like in the last position. But it's for us time to tuck and see if we have that left wind shift. Oh, What's happening here when the wind? is uh, shifting so much between right and left that even the computer cannot hold the, the best VMG he cannot keep the best angle it's really crazy that's why we lost a lot of position because the wind is so crazy that we cannot even understand what's happening between the left and the right couple of boats cross in front of us the wind is shifting so much on the right see how much we are bearing away luckily we, we can cross in front the rest of the fleet but it's pure luck it's really pure luck really do not like san francisco especially when we are so close to that island it's really really too tricky the wind is so difficult to understand uh, and uh, it's not really fair if you can get this there is no much tactic, it's really really pure luck and eh, maybe closer to a really racing a real racing. Oh, so time for us for hoist the gen no come on. Was a hundred one second ago. Was a hundred a second ago. You see how much the wind shifted. That's crazy. Let's see if we can catch up. We are we're still in second position, I'm not complaining about that. But you see, see the wind is moving away from us. It's, uh, it's really difficult for both the team here to catch up this wind and finally accelerate. Yeah, finally. Finally we're going 23, 24 knots, but it would be super hard to find the right time to tuck. To jive, sorry. See if we can be a little bit luckier this time. Oh, I want to split. I want to go to the other mark. Where is going? Where is going? Where is going? No. I need to split with him. 
and uh, try to go this way. They say we are in front of them, that's absolutely not true. Because the line should be like this, so we should pass behind them. But we never know because the wind is so shifty, that's super crazy. As you can see, that says we are in the lead together. I don't know what to do, I do not know where we'll be turning the wind. So I really do not know where to go. It's really a really really a huge bet. But definitely we are there with the, the other team and we can fight until the end. Let's see if we can get lucky. Let's see if we can be disturbed. No, he's too far in front to disturb us. It's definitely not seven meters. But it's definitely going much, much higher than is required. Probably he want to avoid to have another bad wind shift. Yeah, and now it's full foil. And it's flying at 19 knots like we're doing. And probably it's going to fall again. Whoa, look at this. Look at this. No. Shit. Sorry, guys. Uh, I thought I would not touch it. But uh, that was not the case. And now we, we we have to defend our position. Let's see if we are jabbing, if we can enter in that a wind. No, we're not going. We are not going to enter in that wind area. So it's better to keep the right side. It's more neutral. We are not going to lose too much. So well done to the first team. Well done to incorporate. He was a little bit smarter, probably he has the wind uh, uh, information. But definitely, guys, we have finished second, so <laughs> best result of today. So, not so sad about that. And uh, he's finished 5 5.16, five, we have uh, probably 10 seconds behind, 7 seconds behind. And the third one will be seven seconds behind us, so it's okay. Let's going to see what will be our um, result at the end. We are going to be 59th. We need a three more point to be in the top 50, but I'm still happy. Uh, guys, with this, the uh, video is finishing uh, if you like it press the like button thumbs up always uh, subscribe if you want to hear more of this uh, twice a week of english racing if you put a comment and you want daily i will do daily but seems actually that not many um, english foreigner wants to uh, watch this kind of videos so if you are really interested, uh, please, please uh, put a comment, uh, ask for more video in English, uh, keep the video um, up more time, because at the moment it seems that uh, nobody watching it. So if you want, I will continue with uh, this twice a week of uh, English videos. And uh, if the video is going up, uh, I'm definitely continue to make more of them. So. Share the video with Facebook, uh, WhatsApp, uh, Twitter, and whatever you prefer, which social media do you prefer? And from Alberto of Silver Wind Sale, that's all, and uh, see you next time.